Mayor Harvey Johnson, Dr. Leroy Pope, Governor Haley Barker, Mrs. Greg Marshall Barker, Tiffany Thomas, and the First Lady of the United States. Finally, we're waking up and we're getting moving, right? 
And that's why I wanted to come to Mississippi. I picked this state uh, because of all the creative things that are already happening here uh, to fix things. So I'm not here to highlight what's wrong. I'm here to highlight what's right. Uh, if you think about it, before that law was signed, the average school here in the state uh, the lunch had more than 900 calories. That's a lot of that's a lot of calories in a lunch for some kids, right? Uh, but today, they've been cutting those calories by reducing fats and sugars that are in the foods you have, and increasing more fruits and whole grains. Have you all noticed that some changes in your lunch? <laughs> See, it's the kids and the grown-ups. But these are important things for you to know as you see the changes in the lunchroom. They're happening for a reason. Before that law was passed, more than three and four middle schools sold things like candy and salty snacks and soda to the kids. And now, today, because of that law, more than three and four schools don't serve those kind of foods. Now, I know they got a few unhappy faces about that, but this is a good thing. Everyday folks here in the state prove that if we in this country are creative and we're determined and we're focused, um, that we can meet these challenges. Because this isn't just happening in Mississippi, it's happening all across the country. And I'm going to be asking them to do their part, right? Because if the stuff you buy in the grocery stores aren't healthier, if the options are limited, then it's hard for your families to make healthy choices. And today, I wanted to be here especially because I'm going to ask for help from the most important group of this whole entire effort. And who do you think that group is? It's you, right? It's all of you. All of you young people. You have to do your part too. So I'm really asking you all to help me. Have you ever been asked by the First Lady and President of the United States? <laughs> Because, you know, we can make all these changes in your communities, your parents can do things differently, the schools can do things differently, but if you're not open to change and ready to do your part, then it won't work either, right? And we know you have to be active and move, right? That means you can't spend hours sitting in front of the TV and video games and the computer. You have to get up and move. Can you help me with that? Yes. <laughs> they were so excited a few minutes ago. <laughs> but the president and I ask our daughters these same things. I mean, this is what we talk about at home. When we're at dinner, we ask them, what did you eat for lunch? What kind of choices did you make? Did you try a little salad? Did you put some carrots on your plate? And if you had dessert one day of the week, do you think you need to have it every day of the week? You know, if you watch TV on Saturday all day, do you really need to watch it again on Sunday? If you haven't finished your homework, should you really be on the computer? Now, these are things that we need you to start asking yourself. You all are in middle school, right? You all are large and in charge, right? <laughs> so now you've got to start asking yourselves these questions, right? And you have to help your parents out. Because when they ask you to make the change, what don't we want you to do, parents? Wine. We don't want wine. Can you help us by not whining about a change? Can you do that? Come on, bring it in. Come on. Well, this is the kind of help we're going to need from all of you. This is the kind of stuff we want you to think about as we move through this, this initiative, the kind of choices that you're making. And we've been working with kids your age for the entire year. At the White House, we planted this wonderful garden, and we had middle school students uh, just your age, working with me every step of the way. They helped me pull up the soil and plant the seeds. And they've been at the White House several times a year just because we've just been learning what it looks like to grow your own food, eat your own food. And the thing we found out is that when kids play a role in what they do, they're much more inclined to try new stuff and they grew it. Um, so hopefully many of you can get involved in your community gardens as well. So we're trying to make that easier. We've set up a website called letsmove.gov. Some of you all may want to go on there. We'll walk through that with your parents. 
because it gives helpful tips and strategies on what to eat and how to move. Um, the second part of the initiative is that we're asking people, let's move, so that parents actually have the foods and vegetables in their own communities. Do you know that there are a lot of kids who live in communities that don't have access to a grocery store or a farmer's market or a place to buy fruits and vegetables? There are about 6.5 million kids who can't walk down the street and go to a grocery store because their communities don't have grocery stores. Well, part of Let's Move is trying to eliminate that because we can't tell people to buy fresh food if there's no place to buy it, right? Uh, the third thing we have to do is make sure that, I said, as I said, that more schools have healthier lunches, right? Because many of you are eating most of your meals at lunch. We can do an applause for that. <laughs> it's important for you to have the nutritious meals that you need at lunch. And Mississippi and Jackson, you all are already doing some wonderful things. I mentioned Mary Hill. She's your food services director. Mary, you should stand up. These kids should know who you are. Thank you. Mary Hill's working on what you all eat. And one of the things that's happened is that you guys eat lunch with your teachers now, right? Yeah, and I know that might be a hassle having them sit at the table with you. But what that does is because the teachers are sitting with you, what they've seen is that you're more inclined to eat more fruits and vegetables, and, and so are your teachers. So just because of that one little change, having teachers eating with you, that changes how you eat. And that's something that's happened here in the state uh, because of Mary, because of the governor, because of so many other people. Here in Mississippi, another thing that's happened is that they've taken fryers out of the school and put in more ovens, right? Bill, two schools in that area, they cut out about three million calories. Three million calories just by not having fried potatoes. Those are the kind of little things that make a difference. But the key, one of the real things I'm highlighting in this Let's Move Challenge, the fourth thing is that you all have to get moving. We all have to get moving because you can eat the best food in the world, but if you all aren't active, it's going to be a tough thing. Um, so we need you all to get moving and be more active. This is where you guys come in, again, putting down the cell phones and thinking of creative things that you care about, whether it's getting your parents to do the electric side or doing Dance Dance Revolution. I don't, it doesn't matter what it is. My kids, me and the president and our kids play Dance Dance Revolution. How many of you all have done that? That's a good game. That'll make you sweat. And we need you all working, finding creative ways to stay active and get your parents active. We're going to uh, expand the President's Fitness Challenge um, so that more kids can try new things and get awards, maybe come to the White House because you're meeting some goals, uh, working with some professional athletes from all the leagues, and a lot of them have signed on to help uh, people from Major League Baseball and the NBA and the NFL and WNBA. All of these professional athletes are going to be signing on to do clinics and to encourage you all to stay active. So there's a lot of good stuff in Let's Move. Um, but we're going to need you all, as I said. We're going to need you all to help us get this stuff done. But we want you all to pursue your dreams. And we know all of you have big dreams. How many people here want to be a doctor? How many people here want to be a lawyer? How many people here want to be President of the United States? <laughs>
You got to get your parents working. Your parents have to check in on the mayor. Make sure the mayor is doing his job. We all have to check in on the governor. <laughs> he promised me he's going to get over. <laughs> and if we're all working together, you all, all of you at Brinkley and all these other schools, we can get this done, right? And then you will be president of the United States. Maybe if you're lucky, you'll be the first spouse like me. <laughs> But thank you all. We're proud of you, and let's get moving. Okay, where are you from? I'm a fed young 